ladies and gentlemen, watching it. Unfortunately, the players have very similar kits on today. So Ryan Thompson of England is hitting the ball now, does not have a bandana. Eric Lamza from Victoria, Canada has a bandana. We're just at the beginning of game one in our third quarterfinal match of the day. Mr. Lamza in the bandana is on the coaching staff at Tufts University and the end of the Squash Association in Massachusetts. Ryan Thompson is making his pro squash tour debut. Originally from England, he's now on the teaching and coaching staff at Squash Busters, urban enrichment program, emphasizing academics and participation in squash in the Boston area. We're in game one. Mr. Lambs at a serve, serving one to two.
made a commitment to the city and to ourselves for at least 10 15 years we have views all the way from downtown out to lake erie being a young professional downtown this is like the place to be the energy downtown is amazing playhouse square the restaurants are our favorite part it's a city that's really coming back and becoming the city to be in Obtaining citizenship should be easy, but it's not. Issues such as time out of the country, past DUI convictions, and other minor criminal convictions can cause serious problems. These problems lengthen... Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is a match between Ryan Thompson and Eric Lamza. The players, unfortunately, have the same attire on court, very similar at least. Eric Lamza from Victoria, Canada has a bandana. Ryan Thompson from England originally is playing without the bandana. Mr. Thompson won game one. Although Mr. Lamza is leading this game three game to one.
seven. Downtown Cleveland. Who is downtown Cleveland for? Downtown Cleveland. Downtown Cleveland is for. It's for the early risers. It's about being open for business. It's for people who enjoy a quick commute. I mean, my door is like just near side of Pickwick. It's for people who want to get in on the ground floor. I do. I love it. It's really convenient for somebody who's young and very busy. Downtown Cleveland. It's for the 900 dogs living down here. Downtown Cleveland. It's for the pioneers. When we first opened, we were still both a little nervous, but it's been amazing. Like, Far better than anyone projected. It's been awesome. Downtown Cleveland. 
It's for the innovative. It's for the creative. For people who want a unique workplace. It's for people who love the sound of progress. It's for people who want to see the lake every day. It's for people who want to escape. Downtown is where the master chefs come for you. With over 70 restaurants and cafes downtown. The culinary options in Cleveland are insane. Downtown Cleveland is It's for people who are on the go. And people who look forward to seeing a smiling face. <laughs> Impromptu meetings on the street by the thousands. How are you? It's for people who are in the business of making connections. It's for the people who share value. Community, investment, sustainability. It's for people with big ideas. For people with a bright future. Downtown Cleveland. For people who wear their pride on their sleeve. There is every reason to love Cleveland. With over 8 million visitors downtown each year. Friends. Over 1,500 performances, over a million guests coming to Playhouse Square each year. It's for the people who can't wait for the curtain to rise. Ryan Thompson of England leads the match two games to, to love. Mr. Lambs at a serving from Vancouver, Victoria, Canada. Lambs in the bandana. Thompson without the bandana.
Seven off. Penny, game ball. Thompson fighting off game ball. Now has the game notched to 10. Player must win by two points to win the game. Good winner for Mr. Thompson. It means match ball. Eric Climbs with the winner, fighting off match ball, brings the game tied. Again, players must win by two points to win their game.
Ryan Thompson now holds match ball in his hand. Leading 12-11, starting for the match. Testing, testing. <laughs> testing one, two, three. <laughs> Eric, uh, Ryan just kept putting one more shot together than you, and and you had game ball a couple times there in game three, but he just finished it off. Yeah, he's just steady. Really, really steady. Doesn't get himself out of position very often. It just doesn't give me a lot of opportunities. So I had to make the most of them when I had him. Just didn't quite do it. We're thrilled to have you here in Concord, but you're a teaching pro and up in the Andover Youth Squash Academy. Tell me a little bit about the work you do up there. Yeah, we run a nonprofit group up there for junior squash. And twice a week we run clinics for kids in the area and just get them into squash, get them enjoying the game, and hopefully it can become a lifelong sport for them. Tough result today, but we're thrilled to have you here in Concord. Ladies and gentlemen, from Victoria, Canada, Eric Lamza. You both similarly match players, Ryan, but you look just a little bit more solid today on court. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my game, is to be more solid uh, than most people. Um, and also just getting used to the court. The court's a little bit different. Uh, probably used to playing on a panel court more often, and this is a little more traditional sort of plaster style, so it definitely dies in the back, and you have to get used to that. And you get rewarded if you hit a good length, you get you get an opening, and um, Eric hits solid length, so you know you're always going to give away a few points that way. We're thrilled to have you making your pro squash tour debut this week, but you're a teaching pro at the Squash Busters Academy. Tell me a little bit about the work you do there. So uh, Squash Busters is the after-school program uh, in Roxbury Crossing, and uh, I'm actually uh, head of uh, squash development for for Squash Busters, and it's about you know improving the standard for of play for all the all the students we have, and we serve about 150 students now. Um, and the idea is squash is a vehicle to sort of enriching their lives and teaching them a lot of uh, strong values that they can take forward in life. And you know part of that is making them better, but part of that is just being a good mentor. And I think that's kind of my role, really. Well, it's it's great work. Thank you for the work you're doing in the game, and congratulations on a great win today. We'll see you tonight in the semifinals. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, England's Ryan Thompson. We've got one more quarterfinal match, and the players I know are ready, so I hope you'll join me in welcoming. Originally from Atlanta, Georgia, he now makes his home in Boston, where he's the head squash pro at the Sports Club LA. Ladies and gentlemen, making his pro squash tour debut, Brad Mosier. His opponent hails originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A year and a half ago, he was the captain and number one player on Brown University's squash team. He's been playing on the Pro Squash Tour for the past two years and comes into this afternoon's action as the number two player in the season standings. He's already qualified and earned his spot for the PST World Championships in Detroit in a couple weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, from Philadelphia, Bradbury Thompson.